Is there an AA type of support group but for people addicted to tiny little houses? Because I might need to join it. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, I'm Stella and I love making miniatures for my Barbie's dollhouse using mainly cardstock. In today's video, I'll show you how to make this miniature dollhouse for your dollhouse. And as always, I have a free printable template to help you make your own version. You'll find all the infos and the download link in the video. So now, let's get started. Cut this part of the template three or four times and stack all the layers together until you have a piece that's around 2mm in thickness. As usual, I suggest using cardstock from old packagings for this. Next, cut this part into a lighter cardstock and attach it to the previous one this way. Then cut this part and glue it over the other side of the wall. Repeat the same steps for these parts. Make sure that there's a 2mm gap between these pieces. We'll have to repeat the same process for these parts and these ones. Next, cut this and again we'll have to cut and glue together 3 or 4 layers until we have a piece that's around 2mm thick. Cover one side of the wall with this part and the opposite side with this one. Repeat the same process for these parts. Lastly, cut this part, stack 3 or 4 layers together, then cut this and glue it to one of the sides of the finished piece. At this point we should have all these walls, and they should all be just a little over 2mm in thickness. Cover them with acrylic gesso on both sides, including the edges. And if you want to know exactly which supplies I'm using, you can find a brief list in the description. Paint the walls with the sidings in a contrasting color, and once again don't forget to paint the edges. Now that all the walls are ready, we can begin working on our little dollhouse's floors. Cut this part two or three times and stack all the layers together. Cover the back and sides of the finished piece with acrylic gesso. Then print this part and attach it to the cardstock base. I decided to coat this part with the tiles with clear nail polish to make it shiny. And if you don't have access to a printer, you can recreate the wood boards and tile pattern using acrylic paints and an embossing tool. You can see this process in detail in my first tiny dollhouse tutorial. Repeat the same process for these parts. They should be around 2mm in thickness. We can now begin to assemble the first half of our miniature dollhouse. Glue all the walls to the first floor, in this order. Then slide the two upper floors into the grooves in the walls. Now our little dollhouse is still missing a roof, but before we start working on that, let's add a couple more details to the rooms and the facade. First, let's make a staircase. Cut this part a bunch of times and stack all the layers together. The final piece should measure 8mm in thickness. And just a reminder, if you have a Cricut or a Silhouette cutting machine, you can use my digital templates, which you can find in my shop linked in the description box. Cover the stairs with a coat of white acrylic gesso, then cut all these tiny steps into lightweight cardstock. Glue into the staircase this way. Then attach the stairs to the first floor of the house. To make the door and windows, cut this part into lightweight cardstock and glue the two elements to a piece of clear plastic. I used an old Ziploc type plastic bag, cut the plastic in excess, then glue the windows and door in place this way. I also decided to cut this tiny little strip of cardstock and I glued it to the door as if it was a handle. Next, cut this part, glue it to a piece of plastic, then fold it along this dashed line. And finally glue it to the wall. Repeat the same steps for this part. Now this is completely optional, but you can use a matchstick or a toothpick, paint it black, cut it and glue it to the side of the front porch, like this. You can also add some columns in the same way, though I personally opted not to. We can now begin working on the roof. Cut this part and attach the three layers together. 
cover one side with white acrylic gesso and I recommend doing this even if your cardstick is white like mine since the gesso layer will make the paper sturdier and more plaster looking if that makes sense. Color the opposite side including the edges with black paint. Repeat the same process for this part. Now the middle part of the roof features a skylight so we'll make it in a slightly different way. Start by cutting this part. Glue the two sides together and color them with black paint. Then take another piece of clear plastic and glue it to the back of the cardstick frame this way. Now cut this part, cover it with a coat of acrylic gesso, then attach it to the rest of the roof and paint all the edges black. At this point we should have these three pieces ready. Attach them to the top of the dollhouse, like this. And our miniature modern dollhouse is ready. What do you think? Should I make some furniture for it? Let me know. As promised, here's the link to the free printable template. And if you're as far down the miniature dollhouse rabbit hole as I am, you might like this playlist. And this is all for today's video. Until next time, bye!